literally just sign how much we missed fresh fruit. Ooh, oh, hold it up. Ah. Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. Point three low tide this morning. Sun's just risen only an hour ago, and we're gonna walk out onto this fringing reef flat uh, before that tide comes in. Try and get a few casts. We can get a fish for brekkie. Yeah, the tide's pushed out so low that it's literally all the way to the reef's drop off. Look, when the pressure's on, <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> How's it I look? exploded it. That's all right. Normally you'd use a, like an iron rod or a sharp stick or something to the, just bring the husk. Mm. But yeah, see what that tastes like. It's pretty good. Yeah. Looks like at some stage this green turtle met his match. A few barnacles. Incoming tide in this shark. Just cruising literally in half a foot of water. Let's see if it spins out the back. Hey, where are you going? We're gonna see if we can make a track to the top of that ridge there. Which way do you think we head up? Straight up there? <laughs> up the hill. Right that up the belly. Spiky right there. <laughs> well, not wrong. <laughs> We're literally just saying. How much we missed fresh fruit. And here we have it. <laughs> One tiny bite at a time. It's got like four seeds in it. <laughs> Native you. passion fruit. Well, no. tasty. You don't get much bang for your buck with that too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Blazing the trail. Native turmeric which is insanely strong, hard to cook with, but still edible. Pretty. Yeah. All right. Where to? It's now starting to rain. So hopefully these granite rocks don't get too slippery for the way down, but we're gonna go try and sit on pride rock right there. <laughs> yes significant amount of vegetation to get through. Already though, got a pretty cracking view. Sort of need to do a bit of a squirrel jump at the top. That's it. Yeah, well done. We're not even at the top. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a fair bit more bush passion to get to that peak. I'm pretty happy with here. Yeah. Yeah, a whole day back <laughs> Breathe it in for the last time. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Alright, done. We're all packed up. We're gonna get the boat and head back to safety because apparently this evening and tomorrow it's gonna blow twice as much as it already is. We need to find a bit of protection for the boat. That tide is ripping in. So the wind started to pick up pretty strong. We've come back to camp. We're gonna cook up that trevally we caught this morning and then maybe squid later this afternoon. skin it's quite easy to cut through and I'll cut that all the way down to the tail and once I've done that you start cutting along yeah. the frame yeah that there's the backbone in the frame and I'll just start cutting down so that my knife runs along it 
and then I just cut up towards the rib cage. Cut down, you go over the rib cage. Yep. Try to not get the guts, and then you take the slab off. Beautiful. So if you're going to cook that on the fire, you cook it skin down, and then it'll cook all the way through. Yep. So otherwise, we're going to dry it out. You can do the other side. All right. <laughs> Yep, so you spin it around the other way. I find that's a bit easier. And you cut up towards that way. Made it look so easy, Aaron. <laughs> oh, I've skinned a lot of fish. <laughs> and there's the finished product, Golden Trevally. And we're gonna dust that in flour, spread it on a fire, and have it with rice. So hungry. This is a bit of a, bit of a trick. You wanna scrub out your cast iron pan that's been sitting at the back of the boat for weeks. Just get the coconut ice going. Couldn't get a flat surface for the cast iron pan, so we used green coconuts. They're gonna last a good hour or more in this fire, so we can keep it level, because if we put it on those sticks there, they'd fall in and be bad for business, be bad for lunch. So that there, crumb trevally. What's your honest thoughts of this tucker? Bloody beautiful, mate. Hundred <laughs> percent. What do you reckon, Woods? Good stuff. It is very, very good. There it is. I'm halfway through it, but sriracha, golden trevally, and rice. Simple yet effective. That's a good tucker. Moving on to the next destination. I just want to take the time to thank the traditional owners and traditional. Elders, past, present, future, for letting us on this land, which we got permission to come and camp. We just had such a spectacular time. It was so incredibly beautiful. And we're immensely grateful to be here. Now on to the next chapter. Doing well. Jump up the front if you want, if it's easier for you. <laughs> Don't fall in. <laughs> oh look, there's more. There's Trevally following yours, Woods. That's it. Just jump up the front. <laughs> Kiss him. Let him go. Oh, like a rocket. <laughs> We've just pulled into this little inlet in the mangroves and it's really high tide. This is on the eastern side. So it's where the southeasterlies blow in and yet again, it's just smashed with coconuts, which is not a bad thing. A lot of timber, which is not a bad thing, but so much bloody plastic and glass and rubber and steel all the way up that way, about 50 meters. And all the way up this way. That one would be good eating. There's also a lot of coconuts that have prevailed. So we're going to see if we can get a couple of gorge nuts. And I know Nikki is really keen to try and climb one. We've got the boat anchored up there. Front line out, stern line. So it's not, ends up in a bit of a mangrove shambles. And the water's really clean, so you can keep an eye out for crocs. You're making it look easy. Steady, 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 steady. That's it, you just go step by step. Steady, steady. Hopefully a few, a few fall down. Oh, you didn't click it back. Click the right side back? Yeah. Middle of the bunch. That was good. <laughs> that was good, just a little bit high. Yeah. Back trigger, left side. Yeah. And just where that, where I've teared it there. Just 
high. Too high. They're good on too. Nice. Thank you. Approach. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, you're up. You're up. You're up. Jump on the butt. Is that shark went pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> that shark really wanted it as well. Oh well. There's lunch. Almost was taken by the shark. <laughs> However, she got it. Well done. Cheers. Now we're gonna cook that one up. Namas! Namas! <laughs> Curry powder, paprika, vinegar, garlic, pepper. Really nice. bastard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a pretty big school over there. Oh, well, this is nice and protected in here while we have lunch. How is it? Oh, cool. Bloody beautiful, isn't it, Kel? <laughs> bloody beautiful, mate. When you're hungry, just about anything's bloody beautiful. <laughs> Numbers fish wrap. Thank you, mangroves. Mm -mm -mm. All right, boat all secure. Happy. Yay. All right. Head me out of here. Let's pray for smooth passage. A bit rougher than we anticipated, but we knew it was going to be a windy trip back. There's a big squall straight ahead of us. So we're just re-securing the boat. We'll hopefully getting in behind the islands for some protection. There she is, the last of the light, the rifle bird. Really, really happy that she's out of the rough. Look at her, she's stoked. Stoked to be in the calm water. <laughs> there's the camp, got a tent under there. A couple of tents set up along the beach, got the fire going, drying out the clothes. With an ocean view. So the run this afternoon uh, in the boat was Rougher than we anticipated. We're in a calm bay now, but we probably had two, two and a half hours worth of northwesterly, like really like deep, sharp, harsh uh, waves. And there was one casualty, which is bloody close to my heart and um, cuts me deep. Uh, lost granddad's double barrel shotgun that we brought on the trip to hunt with. We hit a really, really 
deep, sharp, hard wave and just, I heard this bang and I turned around me and the shotgun which was up the top in the mesh to try and keep it dry had fallen out, sort of hit the side of the motor and the outboard and then I just seen it like out the back of the motor in the water just on the surface, it just bobbed for a few seconds and then it just sunk and it was probably 17 meters deep, really strong current, super dirty, no chance of getting it. Um, haven't told my brother yet or my granddad, not gonna be happy. Uh, I'm not happy about it, it's sentimental, you know, granddad's double barrel shotgun from, you know, he's had that for 30 or 40 years growing up. So that, that hurt today, but again, uh, I knew coming into a trip like this, you're gonna have casualties, you're gonna lose things, you, things are gonna be broken. Uh, it was hard, it was a hard one to film, like I just couldn't film, that sort of stuff happens quickly and it was just rough. And it, every, almost every second or third wave, it was like a 20 litre bucket of water, just boom, boom, just coming over the side. We went through squalls. <laughs> it was, um, yeah, the, the girls seemed to like it. They thought it was like a show ride. They're like, woo, this is fun. And I'm, in my head, I'm just like, oh, like I hope we're right. Uh, which I knew we would be right or capable in my abilities and the boat's abilities, but still it was pretty bloody rough. But now we've, we've made it into the protection of some other islands. It's protected from the northwesterly. Uh, we've got a nice anchorage here behind us. The rifle bird's looking pretty. And we're gonna camp up in another shack that we've been granted permission to stay in tonight. Um, so it's got just a skillion roof, a um, little bit of a grill where we can have a fire. Uh, there's a timber table there, which is a luxury. So I'd say we're gonna perch up here for a couple of nights. We've got three fish to cook, trevally, rabbit fish, and a little parrot fish we shot in the mangroves this morning. So we're gonna grill them up on the fire, do a bit of a taste test comparison, and then do them with either rice or on wraps or whatever sort of rations we got. But for now, we're gonna lose light. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Jump onto our Patreon if you want exclusive content. Jump onto the website if you want to check the gear we got, uh, the gear that we got. Um, we'll just share, like, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. But most importantly, uh, get out there yourself, get on an adventure, whatever that looks like. And thanks for coming on the journey. Bit of breeze, so it's hard to keep even heat, but we got small GT, parrotfish and rabbitfish from the mangroves. They're just about done. We've got a pot of rice there. We did that with curry powder and garlic. Oh geez, that's hot. That's looking the goods. Look at the goods! Oh, there's a bit of hunger getting around the camp, that's for sure. I'm really looking forward to this. All right. So what's the situation? What do we got? We got Tomatoes? Yes, tomatoes, curried rice. The most beautiful fish. Kelly and I have never eaten fish cooked like this, so we're very excited. I want some real <laughs> honest opinions. <laughs> well, at this point I ate the skin, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Should have a bit of each and compare, and see what you like yeah. better. <laughs> yeah, load me up with olive oil. <laughs> Mum would be proud. Oh, pretty good. And this is the Trevally. Trevally, yeah, that's the one you caught on the popper. <laughs> All right, so we're trying each one unhindered by anything, but just cooked on the fire. That fish is quite a different texture, hey? It's not nearly as firm. Much softer. The parrot fish. Mm. And much lighter flavor, isn't it? I think rabbit fish yeah. is the best. <laughs> rabbit? Yeah. yeah, rabbit for the win. Well, the Torres Strait Islanders were on the money. Yeah. Everyone we've met has just said that's their favorite fish, the middle one, the rabbit fish. Bloody lovely. What's their other name? Happy Moments. Happy moments. Because <laughs> well. you, th those little spikes there, as soon as they hit your hand, These you just ones? have like the unhappiest moment of your life. <laughs> Look, I'm having a pretty happy moment right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rabbit right. fish is the winner. Rabbit takes the cake. You heard it here first. <laughs> the meat around the... um. Guts. Guts don't taste as good. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm surprised. laughs>